Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to chat through my boot collection. Winter is upon us and I thought you might want some inspiration. So starting things off, I've got these Pull and Bear boots. They have a silver ring pull detailing on the front, but a nice chunky sole and they are my everyday comfy boot. If we were going to give awards out, these shoes would win the best lookalike competition. There was a pair of Gucci shoes that I was lusting after last year, but obviously way out of my budget. So I got this beautiful pair by Koi, I popped the red laces in and they gave the same vibe, but for like not even a tenth of the price. These boots I got almost 10 years ago from Topshop. I remember saving up and using a voucher for them. Uh, they have still like a little bit of like a schoolgirl vibe. I, I literally wore these to the club all the time. I don't think I could ever get rid of them because I've just got so many memories attached to them. These pair of sheeny shiny boots are from ASOS. I love that they've got some silver detailing with the toe caps and the buckles, but they also have a low heel. So this will definitely bring an interest to the outfit without being uncomfortable or unwearable. This pair of boots by Zara is basically the more sophisticated version of the first pair from Pull and Bear. They are what I, my version of a sock boot. I didn't want a tights material boot, but these sort of are really uh, ankle hugging and really sort of slimming on the ankle. Uh, and these are definitely, I think my favorite go-to going out boot. In my head, I refer to these boots as my Manson boots. They definitely give me 90s goth vibes. They did also come with a pair of laces, which is the same color as the sort of neon stitching, but I opted for the black ones. And these are surprisingly comfortable and surprisingly inconspicuous. I think it's only when people really pay attention that they will see sort of how sort of mega goth they are, but I enjoy wearing them to the pub. They are really comfortable and also still give me height. These are my pair of over the knee boots. I believe I got these from River Island. I opted for a rounded toe and a little heel because I wanted to keep them as casual as you can for over the knee boots. Um, they are actually surprisingly comfortable. They're a suede finish and you could wear these during the day, which I quite like as well. Before we jump into my not black solid colored boots, I wanted to give you not a tutorial. I think you know how to lace up a shoe at this point, but I wanted to show you how I lace up my docks. I actually unlace them and relace them every time I wear them, which sounds like a faff, but honestly with these shoes, it is, you spend more time wrestling them on if you even just undo one hole. I leave three holes in and take five holes out. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's correct. And um, then relace them the way that I have it is I have one lace that is sort of already in and then I almost kind of like loop it around almost as if I'm stitching and uh, then I, that's also how I take them off as well but anyway these are also the oldest shoes in my collection I've had these since I was 13 I got them secondhand I love these Dr Martens they have been absolutely everywhere with me and believe the hype Dr Martens are amazing Next up, I've got two pairs that are sisters, not twins from Vagabonds. These are the Vagabond Dion boots. A few years ago, these boots were absolutely massive and I got both the green pair and the red pair on sale. Uh, that's why I don't have the black version because they are 90 pounds. I did not pay 90 pounds for either of these. I think I paid about 50 for each and I have absolutely worn the crap out of them. I've actually kind of broken the sole on the red ones. I actually really do mean to A, get that fixed and B, wear these more because they are, as a Chelsea boot, they are super duper comfortable um, and super duper wearable as well like I really like the jewel tones that they both are these are definitely colors that I wear all the time and I am yeah just a massive fan of these boots they also have a little platform oh just perfect And now for my Williams Wish Wellingtons. These boots I got from Zara. They have this really fun back 
uh, zip detailing, uh, which you think would be annoying when walking, but actually once you've sort of had them on for a little bit, you kind of forget about it. Uh, they are fairly comfortable. I got these a couple of years ago, but they're just sort of bright red and really fun. And sort of if you're wearing quite a plain outfit, I think these can jazz it up and sort of match a lipstick to it. Looks great, great for a night out. Last but certainly not least, these are my birthday boots. I got these earlier this year. They are by Jeffrey Campbell, so they are definitely not cheap. But um, I, yeah, I really wanted them and I could not get them out of my mind. They again have silver detailing um, with this sort of cut off ends. Um, and also they're white boots, so they're a neutral color, but you would be surprised at the amount of people that comment on these boots. And again, not a big heel, super duper comfortable. You could walk for absolute miles in these and look fabulous doing it. My first pattern shoes, I I need to bin these. <laughs> when you look how sort of worn they are. I absolutely love these shoes. And I believe these shoes are the first shoes that I really decided to sort of go outlandish with. Um, they're sort of pony skin, uh, cheetah print, and oh, they are so comfortable. The reason I haven't gotten rid of them yet is just in case that like, I need to wear them, but it doesn't matter if I get them ruined because I kind of already beat this horse, beat this pony to death, huh? In a similar vein to my previous shoes, I actually bought these to replace them, but then I couldn't quite put them in the bin. Uh, these are by ASOS and they are a nice little lace up number. And again, I believe that animal print is a neutral. So you again would be surprised at how you can clash this print and sort of wear it with really plain outfits or really exciting outfits. These are super duper comfortable and with a little heel as well. And last, but certainly not least, we have this red snakeskin pair from Topshop. I got these in the sale last year. They definitely have some Western vibes, but I also quite like how sort of slim on the ankle the uh, top of the boot is. Uh, and they also have a nice point, so that makes them a little bit more formal. Uh, but also again, because I think, as you can see, there's definitely a theme here. I don't like very high boots, but um, yeah, easy to walk in, but super fun, um, but also kind of goes with everything that I own. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you think there are any gaps in my collection, please let me know and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye. I know I've got to